Hi, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stamp. Today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful card. We are going to use a low cooking stamp and the matching die to create this card. Rubber stamp is so much fun. When you use the same stamps, different style, different color, they turn out totally different looking cards. On the right side, I use a white embossing. On the left side, I use black embossing. They are exactly the same stamp and it looks how different they look. Let's just start it. We are going to use our um, rose stamp set. This is all combo. The stamps and the die cast together is for $24.99. We are also going to use our peony uh, stamp set. It is a stamp and the die cast together for the $24.99. Make sure you check our promotion. We have a great deal for those flower die cast stamp combo. We have 11 different kinds of flowers. This is just idea to show you how to make those cards. But you can be, be creative, use different kinds of flowers, and they give a try. They all turn out to be a beautiful card. So we're gonna use the um, rose stamps, rose, uh, rose stamps and die, and the PNE, and also our number one cell background stamp. This is the words. So that's it started. So those are the material that we are going to need it. Uh, we are going to need a few die based impact. Those are the Marvis impact. Um, unfortunately, they have been retired, but that's okay. You can use a memento or you can use a thin, ho uh, thin hose distraction. Any die based impact will work just fine. You can also use a pigment, but the, I like to use a die base because it's the last messy and then they dry fast. So this is a great idea. If you have a lot of impacts, you can create a color chart. Sometimes in the draw, they, the, the color on the package, they looks totally different with the real color. So a color chart will um, help you to find out which color you need. So we're going to need a dauber. Um, this is an awesome tool. They said, um, try to um, use one dauber for one color. And then we need a few jumbo daubers, uh, white embossing powder, black embossing powder, and uh, masking tape, um, Versamark, foam tape and this is some small daubers that I found that is very useful for the um, detail um, and then stylus and the misting bottles for um, I show you what's that for and the sound um, color cardstock okay that's to start with least card first I'm going to show you just use a one tone color first and then later on I'm going to show you how to apply the multi color it's like pretty much a simple technique. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to use our rose stamps. We are going to use the Versa mark to stamp our um, image first. Okay. So matching die is not just for the cutting. They are also great for the embossing and the masking. So what you're going to do is you are going to just use a um, scrap paper, create um, just a die cut a few times. And then, so you are going to end up to have a the negative part, like a window, and also the die cut part, like this. So once when you cut it, you can keep um, those dies, and then you can use it again, again. See? So don't put it um, in the garbage. You never know when you're going to use that. So it's a good idea to have a few of them, okay? Okay, so this is just a, a regular piece of car stock and I use the Marcos matte cover. They are just better quality. The finish is more smooth than regular car stock. We are going to use a Versa Mark. Versa Mark um, is uh, um, clear and then you cannot really see the color. Um, so I, um, I'm going to use the black color instead of Versamark to show you how I do the masking. So just pretend this is the, um, the Versamark because Vers uh, Versamark, uh, Versamark, once when I stamp it, you cannot really see it, how I um, do the repeating pattern. And so we're gonna use just a black impact. So, but remember, you are going to use a Versamark. This is just to show you how I'm masking, okay? So just pretend this is a Versamark. So you're going to ink your stamp first 
and then um, you just uh, pick up the corner anywhere you like. Um, try to play around, make your um, picture, um, your car balanced. So pretend this is a versa mark, okay? So I am going to just uh, um, put my call, uh, my image here, okay? And then let's uh, bring it more close here. Okay, you can cut off a part of your image and try to work a little bit faster if you can. So this is supposed to be the verse mark, no color, but I want to show you how you're going to um, stamp the repeating, repeat, repeating pattern. So I am going to, I, I use the black impact, but this is the verse mark. And then and gently place your die cut on top because it's a verse mark. We are going to do the embossing, so you don't want to push it so hard, and you have enough time to finish, uh, um, finish uh, um, stamping. So I'm going to just put a piece of masking um, reposition tape over there. You do have to ink your um, impact every time after you stamp that, especially with the verse mark. You don't have enough ink on your stamp. And then we're going to just um, rotate a corner. The reason I put this uh, um, die cut, kind of like a masking my uh, verse mark image, so you don't have to worry, we're going to stamp it again. So because of this piece is here, that's why uh, my rose is not going to have an overlapping image. And then you're going to remove this one and then place this guiding uh, this uh, die part here. So don't touch here because we are going to dip into the embossing powder and then we are going to do the embossing. It looks better with embossing. And then I ink my stamps again. Remember, pretend this is a verse mark. Okay, give a nice firm press. Okay, see? And then we are going to remove this. And then we are going to pick up this, go deep in the embossing. I will be right back. Okay, so after I stain my image and I use the um, embossing, um, he gunk, don't know, can you really see? So this is uh, just a white embossing powder with a heat gun. If you don't know how to do the embossing with a heat gun, please check out other tutorial and show you from beginning to the end. Okay, so we are going to just uh, use a uh, one tone, like a pink color. You can use a uh, purple, orange, yellow, any color you like. Um, just uh, make sure that you um, the impact, you have a light, medium, dark, like a three, four color, uh, green color for leaves, Dauber is very important. Make sure one dauber, one color. We're going to need a big dauber. Have your um, template ready. You need the both positive and the negative. And then have the masking table also ready here. Okay, let's just start it. So first, I am going to use the negative part working on my first rows. Um, you can just put your um, windows on top of your image. And then you are going to just use a reposition tape, just uh, um, tape it to secure it. And then you're going to use your big dabbers, okay? Pick up the lightest color. Remember, I always say, rub your impact, don't tap. So that way your impact will last longer. So we're going to find the flower, the um, rose, the middle of the flower, just drawing the little circle. Like this. Okay, and then don't worry about the leaf. If you get a little bit pink on top, it's okay. So we are going to just use this uh, guiding window, okay? Drawing a little, um, apply the um, pink color on top. Okay, and then we are going to use uh, uh, the small dabber, pick a little bit darker color, the medium color. Okay, always testing the, um, the, the, your color, make sure you don't have too much color. And then just uh, find uh, one or two spots just give a little bit touch out, okay? And then we're going to use the, um, the darker color, red, just in the middle part, just drawing a little circle. That's a really pretty pastel color already, okay? And then we're going to do the green. So use the, a double lighter color, apply the leaf. 
Okay, you got to hold your um, um your template because you don't want to shift uh, while you are applying the color. So um, the trick is always drawing a little circle. Okay, apply the foundation color first and make sure your guiding window is lined up your your image. Okay, if you get a little bit green on your flower, don't worry about that. They were green before they turned to flower, so it looks totally fine. Is that pretty? We are going to change the darker color. Okay, so medium color. Okay, drawing a little circle, find the gap. Just roll. Okay, I think that's very pretty already. That's a remove or guiding window. That's what it look like. Okay, now we're going to work on the other one. So I'm going to use the other part, the, the cutout. And I'm going to use this cutout to pertain to my um, colored image. So put the representation tape there. And then again, we're going to use uh, windows again. We're going to find the spot. Okay, and then put our guiding window on top, like this. And then we're going to pick up the color. Okay, working on the flower part. And the leaf, the leaf green. So this one, maybe I want a little bit darker um, pink. Okay, rob. Darker. And I'm going to use more red. Okay, and the green. So apply the green color. Find the leaf. Okay, and try to use a one double one color. Okay, so that's what it look like. I'm going to remove the guiding window. Remove this one, and then we're going to use the least one to masking this part again. So remove your masking tape. Make sure your masking tape is not on the on the way. You don't want to put the masking tape, and then there that room you you cannot color your rose, the other image. We're going to use your template. Try to find your image. They will fit perfectly fine. Okay. And then if you want to do a little bit orange, why not? Okay, let's do a little bit orange too. So that's to apply for the flower first. Okay, don't worry about the um the gap, the, the space between the flower and leaf. We're going to do something to cover that part. So and then I'm going to add a little bit pink. Okay, green. Okay, try to draw in a little circle, holding your um, guiding window. Okay, let's do a little bit pink here. And we're going to put a more darker red in the middle of the rose. Okay, if you want a little bit more green. Those dabber, um, I don't recommend you to wash them. If they are get really dirty, the best thing you can do is just wipe off um, the tip. They will never come back to the new one. So if you want to use a light color, um, just make always make sure you keep one or two um, double for the light color. Okay, that's look like that. So now we're going to fill it out the gap now. So we are going to use this one, the, the cutout, and then two masking there. If you have a one or two, that's uh, perfect. You can save you some time. So I'm going to just masking my flowers. Okay. Try to, um, I'm going to fill out the gap here. So make sure the tape that you put is not going to be disturb your image. Or we can remove it after we apply part of that. Okay, let's do this and I have a one more here so we're going to put here okay and then we're going to use the reposition tape here like that okay 
And then between the gap, I found out the dark green work well. So I'm going to just use my dauber and then I'm going to start with the light green first and add a bit darker. So this time I'm going to fill it out the gap. So same thing, drawing the circle, we don't want it like a stroke, uh, like a strong stroke. So just drawing the circle and then holding your um your template. Uh, be careful they don't move. Let's do this. Okay, try to brush. Fill the gap. Okay. Try to brush. Oh, I have to remove that um tape. Okay, try to brush. You really have to um, be careful when you apply the color between the gap. Try to use one direction, okay? We try to move, uh, try to um, don't move those uh, uh, masking um, as, as much as we can. So let's do, okay, so this one, I have to remove the masking tape. Okay, okay just hold it. these okay that's pretty good if you want to do a little bit more at least for masking tape you can remove it too so just be careful holding your um your your um what do you call masking piece make sure they don't move okay and then now we can add a little bit darker green just give a little bit depth you can add a little bit brown too. Oh, like this, see this piece of masking tape, we got to move it because oh, it's on the way. So let's fill it out the gap. Okay, like this. A little bit gap between, um, it's okay. Uh, no big deal, so. Okay, even like you still think it's not dark enough, we can add a little bit brown. Okay, so still holding your masking piece here. There's a, if they move a little bit, there's a little bit of a white outline between. That's okay. Don't worry, it's a handmade. Okay, okay. a little bit breathing here. A little bit breathing here. Okay, you can move your masking here. Okay. Hope you can see here. Okay, that's it. Let's see what it look like. So I'm gonna move this masking and then this piece and then this piece. And that looks like this. And then we are going to use our background stamp, the words stamps. Okay, so the words stamp, we just use a lightest pink color, rub the color on top, just a corner. You don't need a, a lot, right? And then put your card directly on top, just to circle this corner. You don't want the, the whole card have your um, words, right? So just that corner. And that's pretty much about it. And then we are going to just mount it on the color card stock. Okay, like this. And then we just uh, Put a few butterflies on top and looks how pretty it is. So that's the first one. Um, is the the one color, one tone color one. So we are going to move to the next image. Is going to be the the triple color. So you can um, try yellow, orange, and blue. See how pretty it is. Okay. Okay, so after this one, we are going to make these multicolors. So it's also a very thin, um, simple technique, you just to get more colors. So that's just watch one more time fast how I'm masking. So we're going to use a PNE stamp set, and uh, sorry, stamps. And uh, we are going to use a Versamark and have your uh, die cut ready. It's going to use it for um, masking. So ink your stamps always this way and the Versamark is very sticky, no color. So try to stamp like a three, four image, um, okay? So I'm going to just stand this corner. Okay, remember Versamark have a no color so we cannot really see. Um, if we, that's going to bother you, what you can do is just uh, um, use the pigment ink. And then you can also do the um, embossing. 
I just like a version of mine. I found out they are more sticky. Okay, so you put this one for the kind of rotate your image. You play around it uh, a little bit less, a little bit more, like a cut of a one third of image or more. Okay, and I'm going to use this one. Okay, rotate it. They will fit perfectly fine. Like I say, if you can't really see it, you just uh, um, use uh, the pigment impact. They will work just fine. So let's do this. One more. So ink your image. Tap, tap. Make sure nice. And be careful, don't touch any image that you already stand. I know it's a little bit hard because very smart we can really we cannot really see. And then I'm going to just do this one. Give a nice firm press. Okay. That's pretty good. And I'm going to do the black embossing this time. Okay, so this is what it looked like after we uh, did emb heat embossing. And uh, I really like heat embossing. That's uh, how it gave me hook up stamping. I remember in two, uh, 1992, I saw a lady did it um, embossing demo at Michael's. Oh, after that, I get hook up with rub stamping. So it's very attractive because you create this kind of 3D effect and then um, it just looks awesome. So now we're gonna start it. Um, like I say, you always have a few big dabbers and make sure one dabber, one color. We're gonna start with the yellow color. So pick up some yellow color and then you just uh, draw in the circle. Oh. going to fill it up the gap so I'm going to use uh, maybe one or two my guiding window here so the die cut one to masking this one okay and I have the other one okay just rotate it they will fit perfectly here and then here okay so I think I am going to use a brown to fill it out this gap here. Okay, and then maybe a little bit behind the flower. So this part you got. Um, colorful. I am going to use more than one um, background color. So I'm gonna start with yellow. You always start with a lighter color. Just gently rub a little bit here and a little bit orange here. Kind of give a rainbow color. A little bit purple here. A little bit light blue here. Okay, that's it. We're gonna place your card directly on top. Um, remember only this corner need the background. So when I put on top of my background stamp, I just gently circle this corner. So that way I don't get the, the whole page background stamp. See, very light looking. And then we are going to just mount on the color card stock. I'm going to just do a green uh, butterfly. You just use a little dabber just uh, apply a little bit green or you can use a watercolor um trickle other tutorial there's too many different ways to color it see it only take me 30 seconds okay we are going to do one light blue so just apply the blue and then try to keep a one double one color okay and then a little bit purple here that's the second one. I'm going to have a one earth tone, so ochre, okay, and then I'll add a little bit purple on the side. Okay, that's three of my butterfly. It's really awesome. 
Okay, we're going to put a phone tape and then one more thing. So I'm going to put at least a piece saying wish you happiness today and forever. But I found out it's too much white here. Don't really like that. So I'm going to create a um, template like this. And then I am going to just give a little, touch, a little color here. So I'm going to use a maybe light purple. Oh, this is a pink. That will do too. Light color. Kind of make it, this is not the, that white. Okay, put on top, put the phone tape anywhere you like, and that's what it look like. Um, so I think I'm doing a good um, promotion for um, Lisa Flower um, die cut and the stem combos. You buy um, four set, you get two set for free. So just go to local King Robert Stem website to find the tutorial. It's a very good deal. So buy four and uh, four flower combo set. You choose, uh, you get a two combo set for free. So you probably get like a fifty dollars off. So it's a very good deal. Make sure you check our website for this uh, uh, promotion. Um, stay tuned. There's a more uh, tutorial coming. And check it out our 2017 uh, Local King uh, Caribbean Stamping uh, Cruise. Hoping you can join us. Thank you for watching. Um, see you next time.